Hello YouTube, my name is Woodsy and today we're in The Crooked Man. I've uh, I've been looking f I've been looking at this game for a long time. I haven't really watched a lot of it. I happen to know it's a horror game. It's made on the RPG Maker engine. I don't remember which iteration. There's like 18 billion of them. But anyways, we're going to go. Um, also from the same person who did Mermaid Swamp. I did that one a while back. I think. Yeah. This game contains sudden surprise and harsh, Im harsh, harsh images. The weak of heart and those poor with horror should not play. The authors take no responsibility for any trouble that arises from the game. I'm going to try and keep my mouse off the screen for the most part. Sorry about that. Anyway. There was a crooked man. And he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He brought... A, he bought a cro crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all live together in a crooked little house. That is kind of like the rhyme. I think this is based off of some type of horror or creepypasta, maybe? I could be wrong on that, though. Uh, Paul, I guess we're... Paul's someone there. Whew, finally, things look tidy in here. That should be that. Is there anything else we can do help you with, David? Nah, I'm fun. Oh, excuse me. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay back some time. Ooh, nice. The three of us could go out drinking. I look forward to it already. Well, we better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. You little rascal. I don't know what that was. Okay, so I am... Either Paul or David. I wasn't really too. I wasn't really paying attention to that. David, gotcha. Huh. Sheesh. Paul forgot his license. I should give it to him. If he's still around. Paul. Paul. David. You hear someone? Let's quit that place seriously. It's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace, and that will not help him here. Look. What can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know. I can't even afford much furniture. Besides, you told me to look for the place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right, I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. They angry. I know, look, I should be sorry. We'll visit some other time. Talking gets distant. The license can wait, I guess. Better get to bed. Hello? 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 Who is this? Yes, this is Dog. Shirley? I'll just call it a day. Just take it easy for the first day in the new place. Why not, man? I mean... Does this have, like, the same controls as, um... No, it doesn't. Okay. We'll save. There we go. David Hoover. Go to sleep! Man, I'm tired. Just moving into a new place, I can see why. It's kind of run down, though. I mean, like, look, there was a big crack in the wall. Ugh, really? Is that somebody crying? I had to turn up the volume quite a bit. I don't know if you can hear that. I can barely hear that, even with the volume turned up. Is it one of my neighbors? I should go complain. Is that really your first train of thought? Man, I should go complain. No, that's a terrible thought. Hello? No, don't hear nothing. Okay. Nothing to do on the first floor. Yes, who is it at this hour? Pardon me, it's just, I can hear you from my room even. It's hard, make it hard to stop. Sleep, will you stop? What are you saying? I was sleeping until you woke me up. You're trying to start something? You're the guy who moved in 205, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Sorry. Sorry for waking you. I'm a dick. She's right, the rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, is a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Whatever, I better get back to sleep. 205, right? Yep, that's me. The fuck is that sound? Yo. 
He likes the water. Is the faucet busted? Jesus, that scared the crap out of me. Under the bed. Under the bed. Paul trying to prank me. Talk about bad taste. You have the weirdest trains of thought. You're just saying, like... Ah. My buddy's trying to mess with me. Pfft. Okay, so uh, I guess I'm not going to be looking under the bed. I guess I'm just going to go to fucking sleep. Under the bed, huh? What's down there? Found some. Jump scare. Oh, oh thank God. I got a scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Is the former tenant a ghost? Oh, whatever. I'll get to bed. Yeah, I don't really care either, man. I'll be straight with you. There's that crying again. Sounds still. Where's that coming from? Give me a break. I need to sleep. I'll say. It's like midnight. Oh, for love of God. What? Hello. Right. Yeah, thanks for all that. No, I didn't mean just I'm busy with work, so... Yeah, I'll, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye. Man, I slept until noon and better go. So much for taking it easy. Yeah, I don't know what the hell it is you're doing, buddy, but... <laughs> Beast me. Just check, make sure nothing's going. An old computer. Not many clothes. Not many cloths inside. I should probably shower beforehand. Nah. I just will go stinking. Hi, brah. How you doing? Paul, what is it? Yeah, I forgot my license yesterday. It was on the tip. Yeah, sorry. Forgot to bring it to you, but. Whew. Thanks. So, you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see you. Take care of yourself, buddy. Did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Write on the mirror? What kind of childish brat do you take me for, David? Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. Let's go. It's the weirdest dialogue I've ever heard. Did I just guess? Was that the right one? I thought I was just trying to walk. Mom, it's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh, God, it's your mom. Oh my, if it isn't my little Timmy, you've certainly grown. Good, you look healthy. Sorry, I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off, so I moved to this great room of furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop, too. Oh, isn't that nice? So when you get better, we can live there together. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do makes me worried. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm David, your son, remember? Ah, yes, they opened the bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Mom? No! Where would you be? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. You have, do you have the wrong room? Who are you? Say something, will you? Ma... Get out! I'll have you thrown out! Somebody, somebody! The strange man in my room! Get him out now! Miss Hoover! Miss Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me! Get away! Now, calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. Nurse, too? Don't you mean, like, doctor? They both look like doctors. Hmm, something screwy's going on here. Sorry, David, leave your mother to us. You'll have something for the day. Understood. Take good care of her. David, is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Mom! Your flight school exam's coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please, don't leave me alone. I don't want to be here alone. Davy, please. Mom, it's me, you remember? Mom. David, please leave. She's very confused right now. But she said my... I said leave. <laughs> Calm down. Bring the sedatives. Okay, can't go back in. Hey, 
Hey, Doc, what's cooking? Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah, I did. Yeah, though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yes, she's forgotten many things, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better, so you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. Whew, what a day. I really don't want to deal with her ever again. She's your mo- Mother. You sick bastard. The flock was that sound. Ooh, the chair was moved. Really? Like, is that it? An empty trash can. Why can I not, like, click on the chair? Did I move that chair? There's something in the drawer. Got a leaflet for school. What? Hmm, looks pretty old. Hmm. These LLM courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? Wow. Oh. I guess this must be the form of tenants. You sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? Yeah, kind of weird. Can there please not be loud sounds? I'd appreciate it. Like that. I'm gonna turn that down teensy bit. Got him. Okay. Telemarketers are fucking vicious. Hello. Hey, David. How you doing? Ah, I just saw you. You just saw me yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call me if you're ever lonely, okay? Is she like a telephone prostitute or something? By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need her to worry. She should just look after herself. All right. Well, I'll hang up now. All right, see ya. That was a really odd, like, end. Okay, gonna hang up. Don't want to talk to you anymore. Bye. Tired of reading. I should go to bed. That would be that would be my problem. I don't live by myself right now, but if I did, oh god, like being in a house by yourself. Oh, I don't like it. What now? Why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? Sink. God. Yeah. This is creepy. It's a sink. What was that? If I reach my hand into the sink and someone pulls me in, I'm be so pissed. There's a scrap of paper under here. Got a scrap of paper under here. There was a crooked man. And he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a crooked little house. Yeah, it, it was based off that uh, rhyme. Oh, is it a Mother Goose rhyme? Okay. Why is this here under the sink? Guess the previous tenant. It's so strange. You should sleep and forget about it. You seem to want to just, like, sleep all your problems away, man. It's not a good habit to go... Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working so well. Appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but... Oh, for the love of God. Is that a kid I hear? What kid would live in these beat-up apartments? Maybe they lost. I should go check. You are really charitable, too, to people. Oh, that's it. I I expect, like, an over... Like, do you want to overwrite this file? Like, with every... Of course there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. What? Now? Love of God, what? What is it? Just a broken cup. Use that start me. Wait, what? Help me. What? The hell was that? Okay, I saved a screenshot. Uh, yeah, the coffee says you gotta be. It's like, what did what did Professor Trelawney in Harry Potter do? Um. Ah, uh, fuck. Something like future telling, whatever it's called. This room is really, really strange with the voices TV turning on. What is this? Why do you have a bed in your living room slash kitchen? Eh, studio apartment. No, that wouldn't be a studio apartment. Uh, hi, Paul. It's David. 
yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. Ha ha. Ha ha, yeah. Um, was all up, up all last night. I gotta ask you something. Is now okay? Yeah, what? I don't know what I'm doing with my voices either. Do you know you used to live in this room? No, I don't know. You asked the landlady? Curious about something? Well, she seems like she forgot a lot of stuff, but I'll ask the landlady, sure. Later. Landlady's far into the first floor, let's go see what she knows. Q, Q, okay. First floor, then. There's a crack in the wall. Withered Blands. Hello, dearie. It's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask you something, you see? About the room, I'm in. Can you tell me about anything the person used to live there? Hmm, well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. He said to leave the furniture and use it, however. You would know where he went? I never heard that, no. Really, just up and left out of the blue. Yeah, I guess I just couldn't remember that name. I could rummage through the, my documents to find the previous tenants if you'd like. No, 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 there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks. See you around. Alrighty. Sorry I wasn't very useful. A man about my age. I can only wonder. Oh, well. Uh, better get back to my room. Don't you have a job, bro? How are you paying for an apartment if you don't have if you don't have a job? Like, really? Hey, look. Footprints. I wonder where they go. Into this fucking crack in the wall. That's great. Why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. Is there something in this crack? Got a brass key. Key's pretty fancy. Doubt for anything in here, so I wonder where. Yeah, I mean, you freaking got me. I got the guy's voice, the kid's voice, the mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee. It's like a poltergeist or something. But I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on? <laughs> That'd be like the worst apartments, like, uh, selling point. Oh, and here's the, uh, here's the nice fridge. It comes with it. You can check. We have a nice kitchen set over there. The bathroom works. You just have to turn the water in. Oh, yeah, it's, it's haunted. But, uh, so let's take it. Yeah, that's, that's terrible. Not that I care if there were ghosts here. I wouldn't much care if they haunted and killed me either. Well, you're dreary. But I wonder what about that scrap of paper. What was that man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was here? Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. Dude, you really are sleeping through your problems. But anyways, this is where we're going to end it because apparently we've been doing it for 22 minutes. So that's cool. So anyways, if you, uh, if you like the video, don't forget to like the video. Subscribe if you'd like to see David rummaging through his poltergeist out apartment and as always i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye